Hi there, welcome back. I am Froze Melon, and today we're doing a bit more of the Mercenaries mode. So, as far as what I've got to do here, I should have complete three bounties in the Winter Spring. We'll probably do that over the course of just a few games. Not really going to kind of force out or anything, we'll just kind of go across all these as we can. So, we are kind of into that stage where I do want to kind of grind up a lot of my heroes to get them to kind of level 30 or level 25, just so I can kind of have more flexibility in what I choose to do. But let's jump to the first one here. I was looking at that and I had no idea if that was a new portrait for the Iron Cow and we just recolored it, but it looks a lot different. Huh. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Anyway, let's set these up. There we go. Yeah, well, I'm not too sure how I feel kind of about need one. We've got healing on one minion, two minions actually, so that should be fine. How are I kind of feeling about the mercenaries mode at the moment? It's not that I don't mind it, it's just... Sort of with the... advent of... just what the sort of transaction stuff is, or things going on with that, I'm not too keen on that idea. To attack. You'd have to heal, bleed on Croesus spit. Heal you, heal you. Attack and attack. Try and get that down as quick as I can. Ah, didn't want that to happen. Oh well. That is kind of annoying. I must know more. So I do need the resurrect straight away for as soon as possible. Yeah, but it's one of those things where I'm not too sure if it's uh, a good or a bad thing. Well, I mean, it's obviously a bad thing, but... Like whether this game mode kind of has a longevity to it, if that's the way they kind of want to treat it with the whole microtransaction stuff. But... Each is to their own as such. Still 6-6 six, six from a run of enemies, looking pretty good. Where it is the Resurrect? It's on the right hand side. Can't take both of those, so we'll just go this way. Okay, that's not bad. Took it away from the bigger one. Tax run in turn, tax run in each in turn. Interesting. So we'll play the Lich King. Play the healer, play the healer. I'm gonna kill this one off first just because I believe it's gonna deal more damage than anything else, so let's do that. And there are that attack. Just everything takes more and more damage, it's kind of a, a bailout at the end. And we're in that attack again. Just kill this one off fairly quickly now as well. 
I mean, I could be wrong, like, the game mode can go quite far, but just at the moment, the way kind of, like, it is, I don't know if it's got any sort of, like, uh, more permanence. It's not like, kind of, the arena mode or anything like that, where you can always kind of come back to it if you need to. Ooh, cast cordon has zero. Nice. Okay, so put that out. That's out. And it's out as well. So that's going to attack randomly anyway. 16 damage, but I want to kill this off first. Okay. It's more that I'm just kind of aware that the... Uh, The fact that someone at one point thought it was like a really good idea to sit there and be like, yeah, let's do this, and it clearly is not a good idea. And that's kind of what I mean by it. Enjoying sort of the single player aspect, regardless of the monetization of this game mode, anyway. But I think once the single player kind of stuff is done, I don't know if there's anything else that I'd want to be doing with it as such. Right, let's take three less damage. Pick up the resurrect. It is a shame because, like, the game mode itself is actually kind of really well thought out. It's like you can really kind of manage it as much as you need to. It's just kind of a bit of a shame that they did it in the way that they've done it, if that makes sense. Because they've only put a good amount of time and effort into these, like the card designs, the minions, and everything else. And I know that they kind of want to obviously gain money back on it in some way, shape, or form. Otherwise, you can't really call the game mode a success. But the monetization seems really predatory in the sense that you don't really get much for your money. And especially when you kind of uh, yeah, take the whenever he freeze, because I don't know if I'll be using that. Because whenever I look at the game mode itself, it's not exactly. Uh, Warriors, like, uh, I, I just think the kind of the single player aspect is like really, really good, and then they kind of force this. this kind of one single aspect into the game. Which was... Not 
something that kind of anyone ever wanted into the game or anything else as well. It was just kind of thrown into it at the last minute. No, because you're going to go 18 on that, so... Get that off. There we go. Make sure we get that out of the way. Just doing 8 damage here. That's not too bad. It should go up. Maybe first. But yeah, so I don't think the game mode is bad. I just think the monetization of it is a little bit ridiculous. So far, let's do what card is. Okay. This turn where if I can do the damage afterwards, it'll stick longer. So that is fine. We'll do it on speed of 6. So we want everything to be a speed of 7. So we can actually use that to set that up. And might as well do some healing of my own in this case. So it's going to deal 14 damage to one particular minion. Again, just heal back up. Uh, but you're... No, I should attack you then and hopefully the 50-50 goes in my favour. I get the minion, I thought they would. That's kind of interesting. I mean, who knows? Maybe they'll be absolutely fine with it, and you know, everything will be all hunky dory, and they don't have to worry about the monetization. Because there's one thing I'll say: like, as long as I'm not focused on that, the game mode is fine. Once you start peeing about the curtain and kind of looking behind it, that's when the problems happen. Death threat all freeze all enemies. Death threat all freeze all enemies. Frozen characters take double damage. Okay. I must know more. Job done. So involved just slowing everything down by the looks of it. I 
like, does he summon them again, or...? Three of these fast. Set this up. I think it's not going to do anything. And what are you guys doing? It's not active freeze at this turn. Okay. I see the combo that goes off then. Try and heal that up a little bit. I don't think it's gonna make a difference here. Yeah. These were not bad shots. Let's play Lich King out. So 50 health to this merc and freeze it. Like, really? goes off before everything else, doesn't it? That one then I can move you onto healing this minion instead. as much as I can. Job's done. And then you should be going for the heal, that is great. So again, can just whistle that down. I can use that because it makes no difference. I should probably use the heal on that actually while we get the turn. We're using three, so should do that, at least challenge it. as well. <laughs> Funny how they picked on the one minion that just happened not to go fast. one. 
heal that, so all mine technically have a good chance of going first. So that's 1632, not enough. So we'll do that as well. Everything's already acted, so that is now fine. You can take a heal, you can start dealing damage, and take another heal. So this should be now that game in the bag. Yeah, but I can see what they mean where it's just like if you got a really good setup, you'd be absolutely laughing at this. So again, heal. Attack and lower. making sure that my minions aren't going to die to something that I just don't know what happens. I think it's got like a freeze effect. This one where it makes stuff go faster and the explosive shot is the abilities that it uses the most. So I just want to make sure that there is no way that maybe something can go wrong. For whatever reason. like stuff may be trying to go wrong so we're gonna do something fun then while we can so I kind of picked this thing up I don't know if I tried it before where what you end up doing is using the grace twice so you get one after the other and it seems to double its effect I don't know if that's like a glitch or something else. I don't know how in practice this would work kind of setting up against an opponent. Because you need like a good amount of turns to do it. But we'll try it here and I'll show you guys what I mean. So, so far I've used it once and then twice. So my next one should be I think four times the amount. So if I use it again this should basically make sure that I've used that ability like four times. So only, yeah, only three times. So I could then do it again, but... So what I do now is use the ability and we'll see how much damage it does. So I've used it, theoretically used it three times in a row. So I just want to see what happens here and how much damage it does. Because then I can do it by a multiply of eight and how much multiply that up it is. So we've done one. Two. Three. And four. The interesting thing now is, is this is now a, both these are zero speed. So they just go straight away, which is kind of hilarious. Anyway, that's 
GG on this. That's another bounty done. Yeah, I have noticed that the kind of the bosses are difficult in the sense where their strategy seems really good. They have really good synergy, but they just have a lot of HP. So the health total is just really, really big compared comparatively to yours. So, like you saw there, like. The only reason it was difficult wasn't the fact that they did lots of damage to me or they could put all my, my stuff down quicker than I could do anything or I could play around it. It was just the fact that the things that were causing the freeze effects and making my skills go slower had such a large HP pool for me not to do anything to them. So once I took them out, it was easy. And yes, the strategy is like, okay, well, you've got to figure that out and take them out first. But like, I don't know if that is like a good strategy, or is it just the way that I'm meant to play the game, or... I said, you don't want your enemies to see bullet sponges. You want it to be intrinsically like, oh yeah, I thought around that play and I did really well at it to defeat my opponent. So, Mind Thief 2, or I could... i put a fling. Now we'll upgrade this ability first, just so at least then it's done as well. And then do the same on Merkle. Just so he has a bit more healing on him, so I can use him like as an extra healer if needed for other characters instead. But nothing else to upgrade, and we don't unlock any other new cards or anything. So again, if you do enjoy these videos, do leave a like, and subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.